Hi, I'm Becky. Today I want to talk to you about GCSE revision. I know it's coming up very soon, isn't it? The GCSE season and um, there can be a lot of tension around. And what we want to do today is have a look at some revision guides and useful books that can help with revision and look at some revision tips. I write the parenting advice over on the Let's Revision um, website and I also have a number of people in my life going through or having gone through recently the GCSE process. So a bit later on in this video, I'll be interviewing two teenagers, one a family friend and one my niece about their, their revision experience. And first of all though, I want to show you the books out by Let's this year to help with GCSE revision. First of all, I want to show you their revision in a week books. These are absolutely brilliant. They cover the whole curriculum. They give you a really neat timetable at the front for if you've left your um, revision to the last minute and you need to cram it into a week. You can cover a whole topic in an hour. There are exam style questions throughout. It's highly illustrated, there's great graphics and it really can get you through if you've left your revision to the last minute. If you haven't left your revision to the last minute and you're neatly working your way through it, these are also a brilliant way of pricing your notes and helping you stay structured and focused and have really clear slots in which you do your revision. Brilliant. They have them for every subject. They also have a number of practice test papers and these can be fitted into the higher and the foundation. So depending on what you're aiming for or where you think you're going, you can choose the right ones for you. These have two complete tests in them and they have answers at the back and be aware that not all practice test papers give you the answers. Sometimes you have to buy separate booklets with the answers in, but not with less. They do actually have them in, which is brilliant and saves you money, of course, and frustration in the process. It's a really good idea to have a go at practice test papers because unlike past papers, these practice test papers are based on the absolute current curriculum. So they will be very much like the exam papers that you're, you're going to be getting in your test. So yeah, I think they're brilliant. I um, have got some great revision tips for you, but before I share mine, I want to pass you over to Jasmine and Elijah, who are gonna tell you what they thought of these books and their revision tips. Hi Elijah, thanks for talking to me today about your GCSEs. So good. Where are you at in regard to your GCSEs at the moment? Um, so I have two months until I start my exams. Oh right, so not very long really, no, 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 is no, it? No. <laughs> and are you well prepared, do you think? How's your revision going so far? Um, yeah, it's going all right, yeah, just trying to keep on going with it really, that's the hardest part. When did you start revising? Um, probably a couple months ago now, uh, yeah. building up to it, yeah, yeah. And now it's all ramping up a bit, yeah, is it? Yeah, 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 oh, yeah. Fantastic. Well, you've been looking at these Let's Revise guides for me, haven't you? Yeah, I have, yeah. Yeah, and then um, the first one was the physics in a, in a week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so yeah, yeah. Can have a little look at that. Yeah, yeah. And um, the idea behind these ones are that if you've left your revision late, you can take a look at one of these books and it'll tell you everything you need to know and give you a timetable for doing it in a week. What did you think of it? I thought it was a really good idea, yeah, yeah. Um, there's definitely a lot of kids who leave their revision to the last minute or, or the last week in this case, and I think it's a really good way to cover the whole uh, curriculum uh, in a short space of time, yeah. Uh, Does it make it really neat and concise for you? Yeah, 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 absolutely. And there's a revision planner in the front of it, yeah, I see, just, yeah, um, to set it out for you. That's yeah, yeah. interesting. And do you think you'll need to use one of these or are you going to be ahead of the game? <laughs> I'd like to think I'm going to be ahead of the game, yeah. but uh, it's good to have it in the background, I guess. Yes. Yeah. yeah, and you can end up with a big, huge pile of notes, can't you? So oh, yeah, yeah. it can be nice to have it nice and nice concise condense, for you. Yeah. Fantastic. And that, that plans in about two to three hours a day, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, gosh. Lots to do. And there's some exam questions in there as well. Uh, yeah. To keep you uh, on track. section. Fantastic. And there were also some test papers yes. that you've been looking at, yeah. weren't there? Did you get a chance to have a go at these? Uh, I had a little look at them, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I thought they were really good. Um, Did it I, scare you? <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> um, but it was really good because it um, really well emulated what the exam questions are actually like. Yeah, uh, absolutely. They, they the completely base them on what's going to be in this year's exam. Yeah, so yeah. unlike past papers, 
that you might download off the internet that cover what was done in the past. This is completely Sorry. based on what you'll have been taught in this past two years. So they're oh, no, absolutely yeah. bang up to date. Mm. And how, how many are there? There are two, I think, in those uh, books, think aren't they? Two so, full test yeah. papers. Uh, yeah, there's two. Oh, yeah. no, there's four, by the looks like. Four, yeah. fantastic. Well, that's mm. great. And there's some maths one you've been looking at too, yeah, aren't there? Yeah, yeah. Um, foundation and higher. Yeah. yeah. So, so whatever level you're at, I suppose it's a good way of testing, of testing where yeah, you're at. Yeah. yeah. And hopefully, you'll do brilliantly when you do them. But what's good is the answers are in the back, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Do you think you'll spend some time doing past papers or or papers like this, these test papers? Oh, pro definitely. Yeah, it's a really effective form of revision. Um, yeah next to teaching really so yeah it's just... i suppose it's a good way of timing yourself as well isn't it and yeah, knowing that yeah, you can yeah. work to to time absolutely yeah. yeah good stuff well thank you elijah i just want to ask you before you go for your top revision tips that you would pass on to <laughs> other people okay um so uh space everything out uh don't do uh one subject in two hours do multiple subjects in those two hours um have a bottle of water with you don't have snacks because they can serve as a distraction. Um, Would you eat before you started? Probably, yeah. yeah. You want to have yeah. as much energy as possible. I know my son, when he's studying anything, he will get up to use the bathroom, he'll go and get a snack, he'll yeah, go and find some water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it just, then you have to get your mind back on what you're doing, don't oh, you? So absolutely, if yeah. you've had something to eat and you've got that water there, you're, you're, you want to keep focus, yeah. yeah. Um, if you want to listen to music, listen to. Uh, music without lyrics to it because your brain will focus on the lyrics and not on the work you're doing. Yeah, good. that's a really good tip actually. I yeah, like that. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah that'd be. And what, with the spacing it out, what's your reasoning behind that? Is it because it's boring to do it, just one thing? I'd, I'd say it is boring, but also you, uh, your brain can only take in so much information of one type at yeah. one time for it to still be effective. So, say, uh, instead of doing two hours of physics, where you might only take in a, the first half hour, you might want to do uh, physics for half an hour, then history, then uh, music, in my case. Um, mix so it up a bit, you have yeah. You a, a nice mix there. Yeah. And what do you do? Do you take notes from your notes, or do you just read it over? What's your style? Um, well, it depends, if, because obviously you're working under timed conditions, even when you're revising. Um, so you're going to want to, for the subjects you're worse at, you're going to want to read your notes and then take more notes of them because you will, so basically your brain remembering it twice. Yeah. Uh, but for the ones you're better at, you can probably get away with just reading it and doing a few questions on. Yeah, uh, no, I like, I like that. So you kind of adapt how you revise depending on how confident you are yeah, with that yeah. subject. Yeah, Absolutely. interesting. Yeah. And what about, let me just ask you about a revision timetable. Is that something you've got in place? Do you think it's a good idea? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You you want to make sure you know exactly what you're doing because the, the last few weeks will come up on you a lot quicker than you think they will. Yeah. So you want to know exactly what you're doing at a particular time. And be so sure you've covered know. everything. Oh, yeah, yeah. In advance, absolutely. yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll let you get on with your okay. life. Cool. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. No Hi, Jasmine. Hello. <laughs> Thank you for talking to me today about your GCSEs. And um, where are you on your GCSE journey? So I've finished and now I'm starting my A-levels and I'm halfway through my A-level two. Fantastic. And how did the GCSEs go? They went really well, actually. Yeah, they all went, they went pretty Fantastic. good. Fantastic. So hopefully that's because you revised really well and you can share some great <laughs> revision tips with us in a bit. You've been having a look for me at these Let's um, Revision Guides for GCSE, haven't you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and, and that one you've got there, that's um, Biology uh, in, a, in a Week, yeah? Mm -hmm. So what did you think of it? I thought it was really concise. I thought that they had a good like kind of structure if you're struggling and if it's got too late and you need to like fastly do it. But also, if you want to look at them and like use them over a long period of time, then I feel like they'd work for that as well because you actually you can put in you can put in your own dates, so it's not just like the dates that they choose. It's you can decide. So is that a revision can't. planner they put at the front yeah. there? Yeah, it's Fabulous. quite good. <laughs> yeah, and it and it's got the whole curriculum, but very it concise. Does. And it has quite quite cool. Quick questions, so halfway through you can have a look at them and you can be like, do I get this? Do you get it? It shows it and like it has good good diagrams and everything. Yeah, well. good graphics. Nice. That's nice, isn't it? Because some people are more visual learners, yeah. so that can be really helpful. Definitely. And, and do you think that's something you would have used? Um, well, if I like needed it, especially because they've got some good quick tests and like exam questions, then I would have like in my exams. Yeah, kept you on track. 
And the other thing you've been looking at for me is the practice test paper. Yes. So chemistry, is that something you did? I did. I, well, actually, I did the two together, but it still did chemistry. What's great about the Let's um, practice test papers is they aren't past papers. They've been written totally based on the curriculum <laughs> for this year's exam. So you completely know yeah. that you're, you're up to date with what you're doing and it's not based on past stuff. Definitely. And at the back, they've got all the answers because I know some, some exam boards with their quiz questions, they don't actually put the answers at the end and you have to oh. buy a separate book. So it's kind of expensive. Yeah. But then this And irritating if you it. don't know because yeah. you don't know if you've done yeah, right. That's yeah. definitely what happens. So you can market it yourself as well and you don't always need parents like input and advice and you can like independently do it. That's great. And how many test papers are in there? Is there... Um, so there's two complete tests. Two complete and tests. And then I think there's like individual questions. But you want to do like the complete tests and make sure that you have So maybe what you could do is do one and work through your own pace and then maybe time yourself yeah, another one. Yeah, definitely. Did you find doing past papers very helpful? Past papers are literally the best thing. Really? Past <laughs> like, and practice testing? Yeah, they make it go... You make, you make, they make you understand it, and especially if you can do it in timed conditions, because otherwise you get there and you're faced with a load of questions that you haven't actually yeah. had a look at. Before. And I suppose you get to know the format, yeah. so you're not phased on the day, you've kind of seen it before. Yeah, definitely. Fantastic. Oh, that's great then. Um, so, another thing I wanted to ask you, because I know you do very well in your GCSEs actually, is what are your top revision tips, Jasmine? Okay, so I'd say definitely practice papers because you need to understand the format and how they're going to ask. You just need to make sure that you can do it. And I'd say use your teachers because that's why they're there, like, they're there to help you. Absolutely. And so, they obviously want you to do yeah, the very best you can. And they're so. always going to give you some good advice. They've been doing it probably for a long time. So it's yeah. best to like take advantage, go to them with any questions, any support that you need. I'd say make a timetable and try to stick to it the best you can. Yeah. If you fall behind one day, that's fine. But try and keep going like it doesn't yes. matter because that way i suppose you absolutely know that by the time your exams are coming up you have learned the stuff. yeah and yeah. every time you do a slot you've put it in the bank haven't you yes and yeah. you're like very much on top of it that way but make sure you also schedule yourself some free time breaks and stuff so have a shower go on a walk meet up with friends do stuff that's going to get you out of the house and get, and your, get mind your mind off yeah. yeah you need you just need some free time because otherwise it'll, it'll like come on top how of often did you schedule in breaks um, if you were revising for a day, say it was a weekend or, you know, you plan to do quite a bit of revision, how, how regular would your breaks well, be? My, my brain doesn't stay focused for that long, so it'd be like an hour and a half and then I'd have 15 minutes and then you have quite a big, like, lunch, so yeah. you have some calm time there and you can, like, cook it yourself, so that's another thing that chills you out a little bit. Um, so good distractions, things yeah. that really take your mind yeah. away. And so yeah. you're not just, it's not just all academic and it's actually like interesting and I'd also say revise with a friend if you've got like a friend that's going to do the same amount of work as you and you like support each other that's always yeah, not what you're just going to have a good chat no. about boys isn't it <laughs> so somebody who's also quite focused yeah. determined and then you guys can help support each other and you might even learn something from each other maybe ask each other questions yeah and like yeah. use your cue cards so did you did you do that a lot revising with friends did it work I did because I have quite a good good group of friends and they're all quite work hard so if I could sit down with people and have conversations then that would help Fantastic. The brilliant tips. Thank you, Jasmine, and good luck with your A levels. Thank you. <laughs> so huge thanks to Elijah and Jasmine for sharing their tips and their experience and letting us know what they thought of the Let's books. My revision tips would be definitely echoing theirs. It's really important to stay hydrated, to be focused and well organised, to take regular breaks, to have a timetable absolutely great advice from the two of them there so huge thanks for that i would add to that that i think it's really important that you reward yourself so you know when your exams are ending and you have something in place to reward yourself but also that you have little rewards along the way so for example you might think okay i'm going to revise monday through to friday and saturday i'm going to have a day off go shopping with friends perhaps go to the cinema start again on Sunday so you've got something to aim for and to look forward to along the way I'd also keep in mind that that this is just a time bound period it will be over and the summer will be looming so you're not going to have to keep up this pace forever I would also say if you are feeling particularly stressed or anxious do talk about it talk about it to your friends going through the same experience or talk to your parents or carers or talk to a teacher but don't get yourself all wrapped up in knots and the most important thing to do is to start. Just get started. Don't procrastinate. Get that timetable written and crack on with it. 
these exams are going to be important. They're going to be an important platform for you to decide what to do next. And you want to do yourself justice by doing your best. So really good luck to everyone undertaking their GCSEs this year. I hope they go really well for you. Take care.